Hello, my beautiful Libras. This is Debs and this is your reading for August 2022. How are you guys? I hope everyone is well. Libra, coming out of meditation, I just got the sense that everything was pretty good in your world. Everything was pretty chilled. Your work life was going okay. You were very settled in wherever you were living. But I got the sense of a deep-seated disquiet pertaining to love. So maybe you feel, Libra, you've concentrated on your own stability, your own foundation. For many of you, you have worked very hard to achieve this. And I feel that you've kind of reached the point where you're now ready for love. You're ready. But the question is, Libra, do you really want a relationship? Because I get a sense, Libra, that you pushed quite a few people away over the past few months. It might be that you made excuses. Well, they were too young. They were too old for me. Mm, yeah, they were five inches too short. They were dark, not blonde, whatever this is. You're realizing that you might subconsciously not feel comfortable bringing someone into your life. Even though you want love, love has been handed to you on a plate, but you've disregarded it. So this is something you need to think about, because for many of you, you say you want to meet someone, you dream of walking hand in hand with somebody down the street. But when it actually comes down to somebody approaching you and you taking things a step forward, I think for many of you, you've said no. OK, hmm. so this is going to be an interesting reading. Let's see what comes through, Libra. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Libras. This is August 2022. What do we have for my Libras, please, Michael? And who do we have with us in their reading? Thank you. Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Michael. Arnold is with me. White Owl is with me. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting, Libra. Hmm. Michael's saying cut. Okay. So we got the Ten of Wands, Libra. Have you been subconsciously pushing people away because there's still a lot of heavy energy relating to the past? Could it be that you're thinking about someone that it ended with a while ago? And it may well be that you thought that you had left that behind, but maybe you haven't deep, deep down. Maybe you still wonder if this person's going to come back to you. Maybe. You might have been pushing people away, Libra, because... The thought process could be, well, what if that person returns and I've moved on with somebody else? You might subconsciously have been keeping yourself single in case that happened. Now, if that is not the message for you, it could well be simply that you are very busy in your life. Maybe you're a single mom and you're dealing with kids and you're having to do a nine to five and you're cleaning the house and doing the washing and cleaning and ironing and cooking and you're exhausted. Do I really have time for a relationship? So whatever this is for you, you're sitting in the Ten of Wands. Okay. Now that can pertain to the fact, Libra, that you need to let the past go. Or maybe you need to change your schedule to allow yourself some time for a relationship. Two of Wands in the reverse. Libra, I get the feeling that you were waiting for somebody to return to you. You could have been waiting for a long time. I don't mean sitting there looking out the window. I literally mean getting on with your life, but quietly thinking to yourself, I don't really want to be with anyone else except that person. So I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm going to keep myself single because I feel that maybe in the future they'll come back to me. I think this might have happened a while ago. It could have been several months ago. It could have been years ago, Libra. With the two of wands, you were standing at crossroads, wondering whether or not you should move on from waiting for this person. 
I think eventually you did move on, but it was with a sense of reticence. I don't really want to let this go. So I feel even though you physically moved on, emotionally, the tie was still there. Crossing that is the Four of Cups in the reverse. You are wanting new love. You're telling yourself you should move forward. You should embrace the new. But there's a sense that if it landed in your lap, Libra, if you're honest with yourself, would you take it? Would you accept it? You haven't up until now. In the past, with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, you had to let go of a relationship that you put a lot of time and energy into. Whether or not it was long term, whether or not it was short term, it had a great effect on you. Eventually, you did let it go. But there was a lot of sadness in doing that. In the immediate past, with the Ace of Wands, you may have met people that you were attracted to, but they weren't the person that you met in the past. Very attractive, very sexy, lots of chemistry, but even though you may have had a few dates, I think you still, in the back of your mind, wondered if this one person was going to return, ever. What you're thinking about is the hermit. For some of you, you're thinking about a Virgo. For others of you, you've told yourself the truth, which is, well, my life is pretty good. But yeah, sometimes I feel on my own. Sometimes I feel life is ticking past very, very quickly, uncomfortably quickly. And I'm by myself. You're doing a lot of thinking about the past, what you want for the future, how you interact with people, your day-to-day -day life. You're taking it all in. You're analysing your life. In the immediate future, we've got the Hierophant. For some of you, you're definitely connected to your higher self. For some of you, you're spiritual, you could be even um, strongly religious. For others of you, you're wondering about the concept of marriage. Would I want to get married? Would I not want to get married? What does marriage mean for me? It could be that you feel a strong spiritual connection with somebody who's just about to come into your life. It could be that you're thinking at this time of a Taurus. In your fears, the tower in the reverse, fascinating Libra. Are you thinking about the ending of a relationship with somebody? Are you wondering whether or not you'll ever have the chance to pick up the pieces? Maybe pertaining to a Scorpio, an Aries, a Taurus or a Virgo. Will I ever have that chance again? Some of you are fearing you're never going to feel ready for new love because you're thinking about somebody from the past, even though you know you shouldn't. Even though for many of you, you've already told yourself the truth, which is, yeah, they probably won't come back. But it's as if you can't help yourself. Now, in the environment is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's moving towards you, Libra, who has ended a long-term situation. And they're wanting to connect with you. Could very well be an earth sign. You feel a strong spiritual connection with this person, but you're simply not sure. What you're hoping is that with the lovers in reverse, which is a choice between two people, could be a Gemini, you're hoping this person has definitely chosen you and is not simply moving towards you for a fling. Maybe a rebound fling. The outcome. Judgment in the reverse. Libra, for some of you, you feel it's not quite time to connect with this person. It may be that you do need to finally let the past go. Whoever it was that was playing on your mind for a long time, you need to let that go. You know it. It could be that you feel if this person is moving towards you, telling you that they just ended a relationship, 
it may be that the divine is saying to you, Libra, you need to put this person a little bit at arm's length because they need time to fully heal. Otherwise, they're bouncing from the ending of one relationship straight into a relationship with you. And this person needs time to be sure that they really want this long-term situation. Clarification, temperance, Sagittarian energy. You've been coasting, you've been waiting, you've been healing. Nine of Pentacles, you're pretty good. Strong, stable, grounded, quite relaxed. You've given yourself a good life, Libra. With the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, I think this is the divine saying, release whatever you've been hanging on to. An old cycle, a particular person, let it go, Libra, because you need to. You need to let it go. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, it could be that the divine is saying to you, Libra, you may have made excuses for the person in the past, but ultimately, with the Knight of Wands in reverse, they're not racing back to you. It could have just been a fling. This person may not have wanted a commitment. This person could already have been in a commitment. I don't think they're coming back. This is you finally accepting the truth, potentially, and letting it go. Because I feel, Libra, otherwise, you're going to be in danger of keeping yourself stuck, keeping yourself single when there's definitely somebody out there who wants to get to know you. Underneath the deck, yes, three of wands in reverse. Now this is you waiting for somebody to come back to you, hoping that they will, thinking about them from a distance. This is you realizing, Libra, this person is not coming back, but it's as if you can't let it go. With the energy of the Queen of Swords, this is you, a little bit guarded, a bit nervous, quite suspicious. Whoever this person was, this is someone who caused you to mistrust people, caused you hurt and pain in the past that you didn't deserve, Libra. You didn't deserve. It's caused you to put up very strong boundaries, which actually has meant that it's very difficult for people to approach you, whether or not you recognise that or not. So Libra, a very interesting reading, because I feel we're looking at a situation where somebody's moving towards you, they've ended a connection, but you're still thinking about somebody from the past. This could be a warning, Libra, not to miss this opportunity of moving into a connection with somebody new, but also on the other hand, just ensure that whoever this is that's coming in is really ready for a relationship. This is you balancing your energies, Libra. Because you need that. You need to feel calm in your life. And this is you on the surface acting as if things are great, things are fine in my life, life is good. But underneath the surface there could be a little bit of baggage, emotional baggage. There could be a sense that you knew that before you were more open, more loving, more giving, more affectionate. And you're not that way anymore because of somebody that hurt you. The divine is asking you to drop this burden, Libra. Okay. So we move into the reading. Two of Wands in reverse. I think, as I said before, you waited for a while for this person to come back to you. You waited and waited and waited. Maybe you knew they had a choice between you and somebody else. They did not come back to you, Libra. With the Four of Cups, I think you moved on. With the Two of Wands in reverse, you did move on. I think you had to force yourself to move on because you wanted love. You wanted love. You thought to yourself, this is ridiculous. I can't keep hoping that this person's going to come back. I need to move on. I know I should. So you did. You might have opened the door to people in your life, dated people in your life. But I still feel that underneath it all, you were hoping this one person would get back in touch. In the past, with the Seven of Pentacles, you had to let a situation go. You may have lost money. This could even have been somebody that you divorced or you lived with for a period of time. Or with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you knew you had to leave the past behind. 
So you did, but with a sense of regret, reticence. I don't really want to let the hope of this go. Hope of them coming back to me go. You didn't really want to do it, but you did it. After that, with the Ace of Wands, there were a few passionate dates. Maybe, you know, there was a lot of chemistry between you and whoever you were dating. You may have dated two or three people over a period of time. But it was just chemistry. It was just passion. It wasn't really going to go anywhere. And you knew it. So now what you're thinking is, all right, the hermit. I'm sitting on my own. I'm feeling sometimes a little bit by myself and occasionally a little bit lonely, but... This can be reviewing the past, thinking about the future, thinking about your life. What do I want going forward? You could simply be thinking about a Virgo. But this is you in contemplation. What do I really want? Michael, when have we got the Hierophant? In the immediate future, please, for my Libras. 28th of August, okay. 28th of August to... The 5th of November. Wow, I am seeing fireworks. I think that's bonfire night. Okay. Libra, you have a chance of moving forward with someone who's ended a very unsatisfying long-term situation. You may meet them in the month of August, maybe September time. You're going to be dating this person very steadily. And there's going to be something that happens on the 5th of November. Now, it could be a very serious conversation between the two of you. At this time, what you're thinking about is the Hierophant. You're thinking about the concept of marriage. You're potentially thinking about the connection you feel with this person, which is highly spiritual. With the Hierophant, you could be thinking about somebody with Taurus in their chart. Whoever is coming in has ended the situation very clearly. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone who has been sitting in a lot of stagnant energy. They've ended it. So they could be moving out of living with somebody. They could have divorced someone. They're coming towards you because they want to tell you that they're single. So this might be somebody that you knew in the past, but not the person that you waited for. Somebody else. What you're fearing is that with the tower in the reverse, you simply cannot get over that particular person. That I think underneath it all is still on your mind now and again. It's as if whatever I do, whoever I date, I am still sitting in the aftermath of that connection going under for whatever reason. Aries Scorpio energy. What you're hoping, with the lovers in reverse, is that whoever is moving towards you is not simply wanting a fling. I mean, this is a fling situation, a lot of chemistry, and then it ends. It could be that you're also hoping this person is telling you the truth, which is that they're single, that they've ended a connection. You may not be sure. You may ask them some questions. Okay? You don't want to get yourself into a third-party situation. Because I feel underneath the surface, Libra, you're a little bit delicate still. You're feeling a bit raw. You're not as strong as you make yourself out to be inside. I think you've been hurt a few times. Now, what is interesting is the final card is the judgment card in the reverse. Now, it may well be that you turn away a Sagittarius. It could be, here we go, temperance energy. It could be that this is you being called by the divine to just hold back from moving forward very quickly into this connection with this person, whoever they are. The divine is saying, mm, it's not quite time. It may be because they want you to finally release the heaviness from the past that you felt with somebody else. It could be that they know this person has just come out of ending quite a long relationship with someone. And they, they're not ready. They need to heal. They need to have six months breathing space before getting into a connection with you. So this is the divine saying, we're not telling you, Libra, not ever. We're just telling you not now. But there's no reason why you shouldn't keep in touch with this person and maybe explain to them what happened to you in the past and maybe suggest to them 
that they need potentially to have some time on their own if they're just out of another relationship. So here we have you, Libra. We've got temperance. With the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, this is you, calm, relaxed, you have been coasting, and you're pretty good. You're pretty good. But underneath that, Libra, you have been holding on to someone with the hope they come back with the Four of Pentacles. Looking at the past, this person could have been a younger fire sign who raced towards you. What the Divine is saying, Libra, is Four of Pentacles in reverse. Acknowledge the fact that this might have been a fling. This might never have gone anywhere anyway. And release this person from your heart. Let them go. Because that might have been what you've been hanging on to. And I think the Divine is saying, Libra, we want you to meet someone new. Not rush into a connection impulsively, but be open to meet someone new. We can't have you sitting in this hermit energy, pretending everything is fine. You need to release the past and be open to the new. But take your time as well. So Libra, let's delve in and see what else comes through in your reading. Here we go. Archangel Michael, why is Libra sat in the energy of the Two of Wands in the reverse, crossed with the Four of Cups in the reverse? You moved on from a situation, Libra, that was challenging. Okay. Yeah. Page of Swords, you could have received a difficult message of truth. You could have given yourself this difficult message of truth. I know I have to move on. Why? Okay. Because Libra, with the King of Wands in the reverse, this could have been the person that you were connected to. This is someone who didn't have good intentions. This is somebody who may have just wanted to have a fling. This is someone that you realized potentially was not going to take action. You could have been thinking about an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. This is challenging, Libra. Yes. Seven of Swords in reverse. You may have wondered if they would change. You may have wondered whether or not this was just a fling for them. But this was something that upset you a great deal, Libra. You may have waited for a while for them to come back to you. I don't think they did. You told yourself the painful truth that potentially this was never going to come back together again. And you needed to move on, but it was difficult. It was very difficult. Yes, Nine of Swords in reverse. So this did cause you anxiety, stress, heartbreak, confusion. It may have taken you a while to get over this person. I don't think you've ever forgotten them, Libra. But I think you told yourself you have to get out of this rut and move forward in your life. But it was tough. So, Michael, what is the Ace of Wands in the immediate past? So after you let this go, I don't think you had a choice, Libra. You had a few fun dates with people you were very attracted to, but you realised that was all that it was. That was all that it was. Nothing that was going to move forward, okay? Yeah, the death card. So a few fleeting connections that never lasted very long. You could have had a bit of a fling with a Scorpio, but they ended quite quickly. They ended quite quickly. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. It could be that you have people that messed you around. People that pretended they were sitting in the Knight of Pentacles. You could have connected simply with a younger Earth sign. But with the Five of Cups, it never came to anything. So this is you feeling, again, a little bit sad and down on top of the hurt that you felt in the past. Okay, now, Michael, what is the Hermit? OK, 
Okay, five of swords in reverse. You may be thinking, Libra, that you had people that were quite selfish, rushing towards you, wanting attention. Maybe you let these people into your life because you didn't want to be on your own, but it didn't serve you. It didn't serve you and you knew it. You knew it. Yeah, son in reverse, none of them went anywhere. There was no enlightenment that connections that you had in the past were going to develop. And you, you just weren't happy. You weren't happy. Okay. Now, Michael, who is sounding the energy of the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse? Let's just shift on from that energy. Knight of Swords. Okay. So, Libra, it could be that somebody is coming in to talk to you, to tell you the truth, that they've ended a long-term situation. Could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Fellow air sign. The world, yeah. So this is somebody who's ended a cycle and is wanting to move very confidently into a new cycle. They could connect with you over the web, okay? Over the World Wide Web. This is somebody who sees a future with you and is very confident that you may give them a chance to move into a relationship. This is somebody who could live a bit of a distance. What else is this person going to say? Three of Cups in reverse. They don't want to just date anymore. This is somebody who may have found out their partner cheated on them. This is somebody who's getting serious about their life. Knight of Cups. This person's charming, romantic. They're coming in to tell you they have feelings for you. The Knight of Cups, though, can be flighty. Very charming, very romantic, but without a lot of substance. What are they offering Libra? Hmm, what are they offering Libra? Justice card, a contract. They want you, your Libra energy. This is somebody who feels that you bring a lot of balance to their life. Do we have any more information on this person? Ten of Swords. They could have gone through a very painful ending. They could have gone through a legal process that flattened them, that made them very unhappy. It was very difficult to get through that. So they've ended a situation or a situation was ended for them. And they're coming forward to you to, I feel, see if you're interested in coming together with them. In coming together with them. Seven of Wands in reverse. This is someone who's accepted defeat in another relationship and they're lowering their defences and moving towards you. What are they going to say to Libra? Six of Swords. That they're moving to calmer waters. They could actually literally be relocating to your area. What else are they saying to Libra? <laughs> okay. Bless them. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I have ended a long-term situation. I am single, but I don't have an awful lot to offer you. This person could have lost a lot of money in getting out of a situation. What else are they saying to Libra? Queen of Pentacles. That they've ended things with a karmic partner who could be an earth sign. Why? Why did they end things with the karmic partner or the karmic partner ended things with them?
I'm not sure, but with the Four of Swords, this is someone who did go through heartbreak. But they are single and they're coming towards you quite quickly. The Knight of Swords doesn't mess around. This could be somebody, Libra, that you met a while ago. They might have been on and off with their person. They might have been separated, not divorced. You may have pushed this person away, but they're coming back to you, I feel, to say their relationship really is over. But this person may deal with insecurities because with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, yes, they're single. They are single, but they're worried they have nothing to bring to the table. So Libra, this is you doing some thinking. You're sitting looking at the Hierophant. You do feel this connection with this person. You're also thinking of the concept of marriage. Is this person coming in to say that they want to get serious with me? Let's have a look. So what is on Libra's mind? What is on Libra's mind at this point of time? Two of Cups in reverse. Either Libra, what you're thinking about is, well, I'm still not really over someone I fell in love with, or... You're thinking this person has only just ended a marriage, maybe, or a live-in situation, and you don't quite understand why they are literally racing towards you. You're worried that this will be a rebound because they're still feeling heartbroken about a connection that's gone under. What is Libra thinking about? The star, Aquarian energy. You believe that this person is still healing. You feel that this may not be the right time for you two to come together. What else is Libra feeling? Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. You may say to this person, look, you've just ended a very long situation or a very serious situation. Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But I think you need time to heal. Libra, most people wouldn't say that. They'd probably just go with it. But I think that because you've been hurt in the past, you're really conscious that this person could be feeling highly emotional and just need someone to comfort them. And you don't want this to burn out. You don't want this to be a few nights of passion and then this person to say to you, I'm sorry, but I'm just not ready for a relationship. I'm still thinking about my ex, you know? Because they've been through it. What is Libra going to say to this person? What is Libra going to say to this person? Page of Wands. Libra, you're going to... Hold this person at arm's length a little bit. I think you're going to say to this person, look, we can go and have a few drinks. We can meet for dinner sometimes. We can keep in contact. But you're going to try and keep this very light with this person. Because you feel that they may simply be needing just a little bit of comfort after the ending of what might have been a very difficult situation with a long-term partner. You're really worried this is a rebound flame. They're telling you it's not. They're telling you they're coming towards you. They've ended a relationship. They're ready to move forward with you. You're not sure. But what you're remembering is that you went through a lot of heartbreak before with someone that you struggled to let go of and you don't want to be in that situation again. What is Libra thinking about? The Three of Pentacles, yeah. So it could well be, Libra, that what you're saying to this person is, look, we can build the foundation of what might turn into a relationship in the future, as in we can be friends, we can date casually, we'll get to know each other, we'll spend time together, but this could be you saying to this person, I don't want to rush things with you, slowly, slowly. You may also say to this person, Libra, that you're quite busy, with the Three of Pentacles, which may be, in the nicer sense, a good excuse, okay? Um, you don't have a great deal of time. So you're laying your cards on the table, Libra. 
What else is Libra saying? Eight of Cups in reverse. You may tentatively suggest, Libra, that they need a bit more time because this is you saying to them, I don't feel that perhaps emotionally you may be ready for a relationship. You've just ended a situation. You're still sitting in a lot of heartbreak. Again, you're holding this person a bit at a distance. What is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two people? Wow, did not expect that. Wheel of Fortune. Both of you may feel that it's destiny that the two of you come together. It's meant to be. That this will move into a relationship. But at this point of time, Libra, the Divine is asking you to really release the past. Get rid of this Ten of Wands. Maybe... Clear your schedule so you have more time for a relationship to see this person. And maybe suggest to this person that you keep in touch, you see each other whenever you can, you build a foundation of what could be a relationship in the future. But you may say to this person, I maybe just feel that you need a few months, maybe a few months to really get over your past relationship, but we can keep in touch. Both of you may feel, though, that this is a destined connection. So this is slow burn, Libra. What is the energy of judgment in the reverse? Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. Libra, again, you don't think it's the right time. The divine is saying it would be a bad judgment call to jump into this. So what you're doing, Libra, is you're consciously not giving a lot to this connection. It's not because you're messing around or being manipulative. It is not because you're not interested in this person. It's because you simply know it's not the right time. They need more time. You may need to get used to thinking about being in a proper relationship because of issues you've gone through yourself in the past. So you're only giving a little bit to this person. What else is on Libra's mind? Ace of Swords, that's the truth, Libra. You need to completely detach from memories from the past that have been holding you back. And this person needs to totally be free of heartbreak and pain and stress from the connection that they've just ended. Yeah. Yes. So what's going to happen moving forward? What's going to happen moving forward? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Both of you are coming out of feeling on your own because you're spending time together. So that's really lovely. That's really lovely. All right, this is developing. Yes, Ace of Cups. Both of you are becoming closer. You're opening up to each other. You're creating some memories. You're seeing each other whenever you can. Very nice. Four of Wands. Libra, in the next few months... So you may reconnect with this person or connect with this person towards the end of August. You may say to them, let's give it a little bit more time. But it may well be, remember that we channeled through the date of the 5th of November or thereabouts, early November. It could be around about that time. You realise that this person really does want to build with you. They are over the past. And it may well be at this point that you realise that you have left the past behind too. This could be with the four of wands, you two talking about moving in together, setting up home together, creating a life together. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. What is on Libra's mind? What is on Libra's mind? Okay. The strength card. It may be that you're connecting with a Leo, Libra. It may be 
that you're holding back. So this person may say to you, I think we should talk about moving in together. I think we should talk about getting serious. But with the strength card and the two of pentacles, you're not sure. You're not sure. It could be that you're very busy in the work that you do. You're juggling a lot of things. You're thinking, oh my God, if they moved in with me, it'll be chaos. It could be that this is you contemplating the future. This can be someone making a decision to actually move to somebody's area. So this person could say, I want you to move to be with me. They could say to you, if I move to your area, so things were easier, you know, how would you feel about that? It could be that in the nicest sense, Libra, you know this person is juggling money. Remember, they got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They've lost everything. And you're thinking Two of Pentacles, would it be an equal partnership? Okay, you're just being practical, Libra. What else is on Libra's mind? Oh, Libra, get out of your head. Eight of Swords, you're scared. You're scared of saying yes to this person. You're scared of letting them go. Yeah. It's almost as if, Libra, suddenly this is crunch time. This is somebody who's saying to you, I want to make a very big decision about you. What do you think about that? And this is you thinking, oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know. So you move straight into the Eight of Swords. I don't know. What is Libra going to do? Michael's telling me to turn the deck. What is Libra going to do? Page of Cups. Mm, Libra. You may say to this person, you want some time. You may say, look, I do have feelings for you. Page of Cups. I do have feelings for you, but I think it's too fast too soon. So if you reconnect with this person at the end of August and in November they're talking about moving in or you moving to be with them, you may be saying it's just too fast. What else is Libra saying? Very interesting, Libra. The Empress. It may be you want to talk to this person about their ex-partner, particularly if they've got a child. How would that affect you seeing your child or your children? Are you still in touch with your ex? You, Libra, could be sitting in the energy of the Empress and saying to this person, I'm not sure. The Empress is also a woman who is slightly older. There could be an age difference between the two of you and Libra that makes you feel uncomfortable. There could be a conversation about children. You may say to this person, well, look, if you're thinking about the future that seriously, do you want kids? If this person hasn't got children, do you want kids? You may be feeling if you're over 40, you, well, you kind of miss the boat. It could be that this person has children and you're not sure how that would factor into your new life together. You're thinking about things. What is Libra suggesting? What is Libra suggesting? What is Libra suggesting? Eight of Wands. That you simply talk to each other openly and honestly. You communicate a great deal. You see each other maybe at a distance as much as possible. But I get the feeling, Libra, you're not going to move from your stance of, I'm not sure. It may still be too fast too soon. I'm getting the energy, Libra, of you just feeling you're not quite ready. You're, you're saying to this person, I just don't think I'm ready. I don't feel you're ready. What else is Libra saying? Chariot in the reverse. Okay, so what you're saying is, I think we need to talk about moving closer because I have a feeling that this person could live a distance from you. And if you're very busy in the work that you do and they've just ended a very serious relationship... 
you may say to this person, chariot in the reverse, we've made a decision to be together, but the chariot in reverse is we need to actually get practical with this. Yes, you want this lovely four of wands with me. Yes, you have loved me. That's wonderful. And I do believe you have feelings for this person too at this point, Libra. But you're just looking at things from a practical point of view. If this is to really work, either you, Libra, need to consider moving to be nearer this person or this person needs to make a decision to move to be nearer you. Both of those decisions, either or, are very serious. This is uprooting from one area, maybe a job and shifting your life. So this is a really serious consideration. And I think what you're going to do, Libra, is say to them, look, we need to have more conversation. We need to see each other a little bit more. I do have feelings for you, but I'm scared because this is a really big decision. And so I think we should hold back in talking about moving in together, even though the love is there, because I think we need more time. OK. But Libra, I think this is lovely because this is going to be a relationship that's going to shift you out of the hermit energy. You're going to be able to fully leave the past behind. It's going to be a healing connection. And I don't know, I have a feeling that this is someone who knew you before, who may have always held you dear to their heart. And this is someone who's coming to you saying, I've ended a situation, I want to be with you. And I feel that you two are both going to realise that you should just take your time. Despite the fact that both of you may feel chemistry with each other quite quickly. You may feel a lot of chemistry with each other. There could be a lot of emotions that develop quite quickly. I think you're going to realise that you do need to take your time. But I think this is lovely, Libra. This is the start of what could turn into something very serious. Now, let's move into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see what comes through. Here we go, guys. What would this person want to say to my beautiful Libras? What would this person want to say to my beautiful Libras? Please. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. This is someone that you have known before. This is someone that you have known before. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about you. Libra, this is someone who thinks about you all the time, obviously. This is someone who may have felt they missed an opportunity of being with you because they were with somebody else they couldn't make a decision about. They're making a decision to end it with that person or that person's ended it with them and they're swiftly moving back towards you. But you want to take your time. Yeah, we will be together again. So this is someone who always thought about you and they're deciding to come back to you. But I think you two are simply going to take your time. But Libra, this is a beautiful reading for someone. All right, guys, I'm leaving it there. Take care of you, sending love and light your way as always. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Libra. Bye now.